All right, friends, welcome back at it. We switched to an alternate stream. We apologize for the technical glitches tonight. Quality's not going to be as great as it could be, but we just don't have data here tonight. 34 to 13, Cole Spring just scores two more off that left side. It's 36 to 13 with 5.05 remaining here in the first half. And uh, unfortunately, it looks like our data's already dropping off again. Back the other way, here comes New Waverly. That shot off, no good by Zane Sykes. And a shot drops in here for Jacorian Jackson. 38-13 is your score. Another turnover, and again, here comes the Trojan shot up no good and a jump ball possession arrow. Maybe they called a foul. Yeah, they're going to call a little reach in here. So foul is called actually on Corian Jackson. So that's his second personal. And at my last count, the fourth team. I may be wrong on that. Getting set to check in here. Houston Forrester actually heads over to the bench. So we'll get back at it. And it still looks like we're having some issues with the data. Folks, we apologize. And uh, there's just not much that we can control. We did the test when we got over here and everything was fine, but once this facility filled up, there's just no way we could get good data. Here's a shot up, good off that left side by Jacorian Jackson. It's 40 to 13, back the other way. Here comes New Waverly from left to right, pass off the chest into the front court, finds Kenton Reese. That shot up and it's good for Kenton Reese. 4-10 remaining, 40 to 15 here in the first half of play. It's been all Trojans so far in this contest. Moving from right to left, Luke Monroe. They'll go over to that corner. It's Johnson for three, and he finds it. That three-point line has been very generous tonight to Cold Spring Oakhurst. This ball tipped out of bounds on the pass into the front court. It'll stay with New Waverly. And we want to welcome you in here tonight on SHN. It's 43 to 15 is where we sit right now with 352 remaining in the first half of play. Dippery, the freshman, set to inbound here for the Bulldogs. He'll find Rondell Lewis. Lewis back over to Dippery. Puts up a shot, partially blocked, falls into the hands of the Trojans into the front court, Luke Monroe. Monroe trying to weave through traffic. He'll find his team out on that left corner. Here's a three from the right hand. Won't fall for Carver Hayes. The offensive rebound is knocked away, and now to the front court. Here comes New Waverly. It's Reese off the right side. Ball spins around, drops out, and it falls out of bounds. Off the fingertips of T.J. Johnson. The ball will stay with New Waverly. Like the hustle there. It's 43-15. Again, 3.24 remaining here in this second period. Heading back over to the bench for New Waverly is Hinton Reese. Braden Stevenson out there on the court alongside Rondell Lewis. Here's the inbound pass as Houston Forcer inbounds and he comes back in. It's over to Forcer, almost loses the handle. Still able to hold on to it. And he'll find Dippery, but Dippery traveled with it. Took one extra two steps. That'll turn it right back over to Cold Spring Oakhurst. And let us know you're out there tonight. We'd love to hear from you. All you got to do is text us on the SHN fan text line at 512-522-9105. Again, it's 512-522-9105. We'd love to hear from you tonight. Into the front court here is Brian Douglas, the junior guard, standing at 5'8". On that right wing, he'll launch a deep three, and that shot falls. 46-15. Cold Spring with the advantage here under three to go in the first half. Forrester trapped in the backcourt, finally moves around, gives it over to a teammate, but it's stolen. On the play and off the right side, ball won't fall. The putback is good, though, on that second attempt by Carver Hayes, the senior forward. 48-15, 2.42, New Waverly, another turnover. Here come the Trojans again from right to left. This time blocked from behind, but a late foul. A whistle's called on Dorian Thomas. That's already his third personal. And what I'm showing on my list, 15 foul. So two shots coming up here for the Trojans. Brian Douglas on the left side to shoot the free throws. 
It's a 5'8 junior guard, had four points in that first quarter alone. He'll take a few dribbles, spins the ball in his left hand, up into the knees, and the right-handed free throw good for Douglas. One more opportunity here. One more will get him to 50. It's 49 to 15 is where we sit with 2.34 to go here in the second. Second free throw on the good. Splash that one home as well. It's 50 to 15. And a timeout is called. We'll step aside, take one as well. Thanks for joining us tonight here on SHN. We'll be back in a moment. More New Waverly Bulldog basketball continues here in just a few moments. Friends, back at it, 50 to 15, New Waverly trailing here, 2.24 to go in the second. The Bulldogs have it on the right side. Forster working right baseline, high off the square, won't go. The rebound of the turnaround jumper is good for Braden Stevenson. Standing tall at 6'6", the sophomore with a nice rebound and put back. And now the other way, a travel is called, and this will turn it back over to New Waverly as Carver Hayes took one too many steps down there on that left baseline. Forster set to inbound on that left side. Three in the back court. Chest pass will go into the hands of Lewis. Lewis splitting defenders. Turns on the Jets. Charge was trying to be taken down there. Stevenson with the ball. Turnaround jumper no good. Trying to throw that ball out of bounds, and it goes back into the hands of the Trojans. Good defense down there by Cole Spring O'Curse. Leading 50 to 17. One 48 to go here in the second off the right baseline. Trying to work some magic. Ball, ball won't fall in for Carver Hayes. Now back into the hands of Zane Sykes who checks back in. Sykes though turns it over, tries to poke it back away. And behind the back pass and off the left side. That shot won't fall for Carver Hayes. And here comes New Waverly. New Waverly into the front court. It's one on two, the floater good as it drops in for Rondell Lewis. It's 50 to 19, 120. Here's a long three from the right wing. That shot, not there. Rebound, Forrester. It's Joshua Brimsey, the junior point guard, trying to launch that one from outside the area code. Back over the right side, Stevenson. Ball gets knocked away. It will stay with New Waverly with 59 seconds to go here in the first half. TJ Johnson will check into the game for Carver Hayes on the Trojan side. It's Zane Sykes, Rondell Lewis out there for New Waverly. Houston Forster to inbound. Throws that one just a miscommunication and turns it over. Here's Brimsey. Brimsey retreats to the left wing. Three-pointer on the way. Shot not there. Rebound Sykes. Into the front court now on the near right side from left to right. Sykes looking from the baseline. A little skip. Hop. Shot not there. There was a hand up and a block by Brimsey. Here comes Cole Spring back the other way. It's Luke Monroe who's been hot, loses his handle, ball knocked out of bounds. It was good defense down there with the hand in his face by Rondell Lewis, the 6'3 sophomore guard for the Bulldogs. With 36 seconds remaining here in the first half, it's 50 to 19. Cole Spring Oakhurst holds on to the possession. Dorian Barnes puts up a three. That shot won't fall, but another offensive rebound, Brimsey. He'll find Monroe. Monroe back over left wing, Brimsey. Another three, this one won't fall either. And another opportunity here for the Trojans. They've been able to box out under the rim. And it looks like Cole Spring O'Curse will hold here for the final shot. As DeCorian Barnes has it way out near the timeline. Down to nine on the shot clock. And the game clock, rather. Barnes, pass goes over to Monroe. Monroe in. And he traveled with just under three seconds to go here in the first half. So an opportunity for New Waverly to force this into the front court as soon as possible and get one more. They'll roll this one to keep the clock from running. Rondell Lewis picks it up. And he just may have got that one off, but it bounces off the top of the backboard. Shot's no good. And that'll take us to halftime, friends. 50-19. to 19. But 
The New Waverly Bulldogs showing a little life here in the last three or four minutes of this first half. We'll step aside, take a break, and we'll be back in a few moments. Halftime here, 10 minute break, uh, but we'll be back before then. Stay with us. We are live tonight here on SHN with New Waverly Bulldog basketball. Hey, friends, welcome back out at halftime here in Cold Spring, Texas. We are uh, at Trojan Gymnasium right now. It's all Trojans. We still got about 520 to go before we get things started back in the third, 50 to 19. Uh, New Everly, though, ending up uh, with four game or four point. Beg your pardon. New Everly there with a uh, 4 0 run to end that 
first half of play. Started to find some rhythm over the last four or five minutes or so, and we'll see how they respond really in that first half for the Trojans. Uh, you look at the man, Monroe, and it's been all him in that game, uh, putting up double digits early in the first quarter alone, but um, they're going to have to find a way to slow him down as this game continues. We'll step aside here in just a few moments. Before we do, uh, again, appreciate everybody sticking with us here tonight. Just had some technical issues uh, a little bit earlier with the data here at Cold Spring. We knew coming in that it was going to be tough. We just didn't know how tough, and everything was working good until the gym filled up. We tried two different services, and unfortunately none of those work. So we'll work hard throughout the season. Every once in a while there's some glitches, but uh, at the end of the day we want to be able to showcase these young student athletes at a high level, and we appreciate everybody for uh, being a part of it tonight. If you're out there listening, we'd love to hear from you. All you got to do is text us on the Bulldog fan text line. That line is always open at 512-522-9105. Again, the Bulldog text line open all season long. We'll be here on all home and away games, bringing you live video coverage. Uh, again, you can text us and let us know you're out there. Let us know who you're cheering on, and we'll get to those throughout the air. Again, that number is 512-522-9105. For now, though, we'll go back to some music. We'll be back at it here in about two and a half minutes or so. Stay with us. It's New Waverly Bulldog Basketball live tonight on the SHN Sports Broadcast Network. It's all Trojans, though, 50-19, to 19, as we'll be started back up here in just a few moments. Stay with us, friends. Friends, back at it here live tonight from Cold Spring Oakhurst High School in Cold Spring, Texas. Welcome in. Thanks for being with us. It's New Waverly Bulldog basketball, 50 to 19, trailing the Trojans. But we'll get back at it here in just a few moments. Want a big thank you to the Huntsville Walker County Chamber of Commerce for helping to make this season possible here on SHN. Also, our friends at the Oak Ridge Disciple House. More information online about Oak Ridge at oakridgedisciplehouse.com. Back at it here, New Waverly will have it as they'll start moving from right to left. 
Peggs will flip this one up down in the hands of Stevenson on that right baseline. Shot not there. Forrester with the rebound. Put back won't fall. And somehow saving that going out was Eric Sykes for the Trojans. Trojans have it here from left to right. Monroe, the hot hand in the first half. Go over the left corner. Here's a three. That shot will ricochet off the front. The offensive rebound by Jackson. It is put back won't fall, but there's a foul on the play, and this will go against New Waverly. Foul is called on Braden Stevenson, and that for Stevenson, his first personal, first one of this second half. It was in the act of shooting. Jacorian Jackson, the six-foot senior, with the first free throw. Ricochets off the front. He'll have one more opportunity. It's 50 to 19, 732, just underway here. 28 seconds gone in the third. Next free throw won't fall either. Rebound up in the air by Houston Forrester. Here comes New Waverly. It's Rondell Lewis. The left wing. Ball is knocked away, stripped on the play by Luke Monroe. And it appears to bounce off of his foot, and the ball will stay here with New Waverly. Houston Forrester set to inbound in front of his own bench on the left side. As he'll find Zane Sykes. Sykes on that left wing. Couple of right-handed dribbles. Picks it up. Goes up top over into the hands of Lewis. Lewis launches a three off the back of the rim. Shot won't fall. Stevenson had position. Couldn't hold on to it. Drops back into the hands of Luke Monroe. From left to right. Action moves. Pass down inside the paint. In the circle now is Eric Sykes. His turnaround floater won't fall. Quickly back the other way. The freshman Dippery has it. On that far right side. Moving from right to left. Dippery trap finds it back into the hands of Rondell Lewis. He'll take a jumper just inside the left elbow. Shot won't fall. Houston Forrester with the rebound. Pass over left wing to 22. And a 7-0 run now for New Waverly going back to that second period. There's a three back the other way. Left corner won't fall there for Kelvin Harden Jr., the senior forward. And once again, here comes New Waverly, but turned over. Rondell Lewis got pickpocketed from behind. Back the other way, Monroe. He'll flip it up. Shot won't fall. Ball's battered around up into the air, still into the hands, and now it falls over to New Waverly. Dippery quickly turning on his speed. He'll find it over to Lewis. Lewis off the left side, or right side rather. Shot won't fall, and it's turned back over. Drops into the hands of Hart inside that left elbow, and the turnover will give it right back to New Waverly. 50 to 22, six minutes to go here in the third. Houston Forrester in just a few moments will receive the ball from the official, and we'll get this one back into action. Go over to Rondell Lewis on that far right side. Lewis, the belt line pass. Into the hands over to Sykes. Sykes trying to float this one down. It was a little too soft to Stevenson. Got poked from behind, and now a wide open lane for Brian Douglas, and he easily lays that one in off the right side. So that'll end that 7-0 run for New Waverly going back to the end of the second. And here come the Bulldogs. It's Dippery. The left side, little bounce pass, finds Forrester back on into the hands now of Lewis. Lewis trying to float one in off that left side of the square. Wouldn't fall. Back the other way on the right side. Here is the Trojan. Shot up, and it's good by Jacorian Jackson. Now a quick 4-0 run the other way by the Trojans, leading 54-22, 5-13 to go here in the third. Rondell Lewis, bounce pass goes back over to Zane Sykes, top of the three. Working a couple of right-handed dribbles around from the free throw line. Now inside the paint, floats this one up, won't go. Tried to battle that ball around, and it goes out of bounds off of the hands. And the big one five, it's Eric Sykes. So it will stay here with New Waverly's. Forrester set to inbound on his own left baseline. Trying to find an open teammate. He'll send Sykes back, backpedaling near the timeline and able to save that one from a backcourt violation. Here's Lewis for three. Right wing, won't fall. And the ball goes out of bounds off of the Trojans. It was Kelvin Harden Jr. down there trying to go in, and instead he stepped out of bounds. So we'll stay here with New Waverly. 54-22, 4.49 to go here in the third. Right wing three won't fall for Nathan Dippery. Back the other way, here comes the Trojans. Finds Monroe, Monroe's been quiet here in this 
second half so far. Not able to connect there. And back the other way is New Waverly. Over the head pass goes into the hands of Dorian Thomas. Thomas back over to Dippery. Tries to launch up a shot. May have partially gotten blocked. And quickly into the front court. Here's Brian Douglas receiving a pass. He'll go back to his teammate. That shot good for Jacorian Jackson. It's 56-22. 4.13 to go here in the third. Bulldogs, here's a three by Sykes. Good for Zane Sykes. Well, threes here in this third for Sykes. It's 56 to 25 in favor of the Trojans. Just inside the right wing. Shot won't rattle home for Kelvin Harden Jr., but the putback is there by his teammate, Jaden Kelly. Kelly using his big frame there on the offensive glass. Here's a three, Lewis, right wing. Off the back of the iron on the left side, but the offensive rebound. Sykes will launch a three. That shot won't fall. Lewis trying to haul in one, and he'll knock it out of bounds off of Monroe. So the energy and effort obviously there. It's been a tough go of it so far, but New Waverly here trailing 58-25, 3.29 to go here in the third. A couple of substitutions. Houston Forcer remains out there for New Waverly. Dub Simmons checking in for the first time. And Shot up and good. It's 58-27. New Waverly trailing 3.20 to go here in the third. Trying to trap him back here on that left side. On the right side, right corner three. Rattle it home. It's good for Noah Bradford, the sophomore guard. 61-27. Under three to go here in the third. Rondell Lewis over to the left wing will find Sykes. Now into the hands of Kenton Reese. Reese losing the handle over to Forster. Forster goes up, shot partially. Blocked it first, but they're going to call a late whistle here. The official calls it on the Trojans. It's Jaden Kelly picking up his first personal. First team foul of the second half. That'll send Houston Forster, 6'4 senior at the line here to shoot free throws for New Waverly, trailing 61-27. Forster's first right-handed free throw at the bottom of the net's good. we will have one more opportunity. Forster taking a deep breath, low dribble. Spins the ball, right-handed free throw on the way. This one won't fall. Dub Simmons almost able to haul that one in on a rebound, but wasn't able to hold on to it. Now the ball bounced off the knee of Zane Sykes. It goes out of bounds. Heads up play there by the Trojans. They'll retain possession. Goes back to Monroe into the front court now. Monroe just across the logo at that half court. That's right. Guarded by Sox, Sykes up top. Battle of the number threes. They'll retreat over just outside the S of the Trojans logo on that far left side. Sykes trying to keep an eye on him. And a little right-hand floater pass goes over to Bremsey. Ramsey gives it down low off the right side. Shot no good by Jaden Kelly. And the ball out of bounds. It will go back here, I believe, to New Waverly. So Forrester set to inbound. 2-10 remaining here in the third. 61-28, New Waverly trailing. So the Trojan team coming in tonight, 1-1 one and 23-3A. One New Waverly, 2-0 record after those mid-December district wins. Sykes will float this one up. An offensive foul, the charge is tabbed. Taken on that play down there inside the paint. Good effort there by the Corian Barn. Those two wins in district play so far against Anderson Shiro, Trinity first, then Anderson Shiro. Back to the right side. Here are the Trojans. Left wing three on the way. Won't fall. Rebound high up into the air. And a great effort there by the junior Sykes. Sykes into the front court. Trying to work some magic here. So he'll find it over to Rondell Lewis. Lewis from the left baseline, weaving through traffic. Foul called in the act of shooting. Lewis will go to the line here, shooting two. Foul is called on Jaden Kelly. Lewis at the line, the 6'3 sophomore guard. Take a breath. Left-handed free throw, good at the bottom of the net for Lewis. He'll have one more. Carver Hayes will check in for the Trojans. Heading back over to the bench is Jaden Kelly after those two quick fouls. One more coming up here on this left side for Lewis. 
Bend of the knees, flick of the wrist, that shot off the back of the iron won't drop, and the rebound goes right into the hands of Hayes, who just checked in moments ago. It's over to Monroe on that left wing. Monroe elects to pass over to Hayes. Hayes working the left baseline, floats it up with the right hand off the front of the rim, no good. Ball battered around, drops into the hands of Lewis. And here comes Lewis with the left-handed dribble, now backpedaling, resets. Flips this one up, partially blocked into the hands of Dub Simmons. Simmons able to hold on to it. He'll launch it from the right elbow. Shot's not there. Here's Houston Forrester battling among two defenders. He'll put up a shot, but hit from behind. Forrester will go to the line shooting two, and the big fellow will be rewarded for his tough effort. It's 108 to go here in the third. 61-29 Trojans. Houston Forrester one for two tonight at the free throw line. Right-handed free throw shot off the front of the rim. We'll have one more opportunity. Good crowd here tonight in Cold Spring for this matchup, this district matchup, third district game for both of these teams. We'll have 12 more as the season rolls on, 11 more after this one tonight. Second free throw, good. Had a chance to get to know Houston over the football season, just like all these young men, an outstanding young man, works along with the registrar's office at the front of the school, here's a three on that left wing, won't drop, it bounced off, they're not going to count it because it bounced off of the top of the backboard, they'll call that one out of bounds. So they'll wave off the three, didn't count, Forrester to inbound over to Sykes. Sykes launching it over to Simmons, Simmons takes a shot off the left side, won't fall. They just got a little step ahead of himself, quickly back the other way, the Trojans. Here's Monroe on the left wing, and the pink shoes, a shot up, it's no good. Rebound off the right side, Bradford. Pickpocketed here, bounces into the hands of Lewis and finds himself running from right to left, weaving through traffic high off the side of the glass. Shot isn't there. The put back up into the air by Kenton Reese wouldn't fall either. Now it's back over to Monroe. Missed that shot just a few moments ago on the previous possession. He'll find Hayes for three. Not there. And I believe... They're going to say that New Waverly stepped out of bounds. It was Kenton Reese. It's a New Waverly Bulldog team last year. Went 29 and 8, 12 and 2, finishing second in district play. They were just a game away from the state tournament, losing to Hitchcock in the regional final. Seven of these young men lost, though, as they graduated on. Started out strong. Two of the young men that were on the team no longer here. And That'll end the third quarter of action. It's 63 to 30. It's been all Trojans, but a little bit of life here for New Waverly towards the end of that second and on to the third. We'll step aside, take a break. More to come here. Reminder that New Waverly Bulldog basketball this season brought to you by the Oak Ridge Disciple House. Find out more information online at oakridgediscipalhouse.com. And a big thank you as well to the Huntsville-Walker County Chamber of Commerce. We'll be back in a moment. Stay with us. New Waverly Bulldog basketball on the SHN Sports Network continues after this. Final frame of action tonight here in Cold Spring, Texas. Thanks for joining us. Rob Pipp here on the SHN Sports Broadcast Network. New Waverly Bulldog basketball. As we'll get going. 63 to 30. Trojans will have it to start this fourth and the lead. Down on side the right baseline and getting off to a good start here in the fourth is Eric Sykes. In the sophomore center. Double team, finds a striking Sykes inside the paint, floated up and good for Sykes. 65 to 32, Trojans with the lead. Monroe into the front court, loses the handle, and here's Rondell Lewis 
Lewis will find Sykes off the right side. Good for Sykes. Nice give and go action by the Bulldogs. It's 65 to 34. Almost a minute gone here in the fourth. Here's a shot off the back of the square. And that one bounces in for Brian Douglas, the junior guard. 67-34. We are one minute gone now in the fourth. Pass over to Dippery. Dippery bounces it back into the hands of Lewis, and it's turned over. Here comes Brian Douglas, who had the shot off the left side. That one will fall for Douglas. 69-34 Trojans into the front court. Forrester reached in there and foul. Probably goes on Jacorian Jackson. We'll wait to see what the officials call. Looked like he kind of reached in there a little heavy. Thought for sure that's what it was, but they're gonna say maybe a step out. So Houston Forrester set to inbound here. He'll do it on that far right side. Looks into the back court, now the front court. He'll go right over to Lewis. Lewis with two defenders on him. Into the hands of Dippery. Dippery launches a shot off the left side of the square. No good. Fighting for the rebound, Stevenson. Not able to hold on to it. And here comes the Trojans on the right side. Two behind him. Shot's not there. High up into the air is Rondell Lewis. He has the rebound. Here come the Bulldogs. Lewis on that left side from right to left. Picks up the dribble. Left wing three. Shot wouldn't drop. Back over to the right side. It's Dorian Thomas. Thomas finds a teammate on the right wing. That three off the left side of the rim won't drop for Harden Jr. Fighting for it is Rondell Lewis. And a foul is called here. A little reach in action there on Kelvin Harden Jr., the senior forward. Picks up his first personal second team foul only here in this second half of play. 69-34. New Waverly trailing here, but they've got it back on the left side. Rondell Lewis partially blocked. Drops back into the hands of Monroe. Has not really been a factor here in this second half. Monroe, though, no look pass down near the baseline. Trying to slam this one home. Corian Jackson couldn't place it. And here comes New Waverly. Jace Card in for the first time tonight as well. The freshman double team goes over to Card on the corner. He'll find Forster down on the right baseline. Forster goes up, he's fouled in the act of shooting by Kelvin Harden Jr. The second full third team foul. Forster tonight, two for four at the free throw line. Two opportunities coming up here as he was having to go in the fourth. Takes a couple of dribbles, right-handed free throw on the way, and it rolls in for Forrester. Quick rest on the bench and a well-deserved rest for Rondell Lewis as he will take a seat. Nathan Dippery in the ball game. Here's Forrester, one more free throw. That one won't fall. Sixty-nine thirty-five, five twenty to go in the final frame of action. Luke Monroe has it, top of the three. Belt line pass over the left wing. Douglas on the baseline as he'll go around the world. The right wing, now it's Harden Jr. for three. That shot hasn't been there for him tonight. And a hard-fought rebound for Forrester. Over the head pass into the front court now, Dippery. Freshman a bounce dribble over to Sykes, right corner. Shot's not there, and a little tripping foul here against New Waverly. Dorian Thomas with his fourth personal, and only the first team foul of the second half for New Waverly. Dippery's out there for the floor for New Waverly. Good ball moving inside and the assist and Kelvin Harden Jr. Able to clean it up and drops it in off the right side. 71-35. New Waverly trailing. They've got it now. Trying to get to the front court. Forrester does. Over to Card. Card. He'll find Dorian Thomas back over to Forrester on that right wing. Forrester trying to work in on the right baseline. Rattle at home. No, it popped out. Trying to put this one back up off the left side was Dorian Thomas. Shot wouldn't fall, but he's fouled. Foul is called on Eric Sykes, his second personal fourth team foul by the Trojans here in this half. So at the line shooting two is the junior, standing at 6'1", Dorian Thomas. 
Thomas in a little foul trouble himself. He's got four personal in this ball game. Checking back in a few moments ago. That's why he was sitting so long. Here's Thomas back at the free throw line on the left side. So he'll spin the ball in his left hand. Couple of dribbles. Right-handed free throw on the way. Won't fall. Four back on the floor here for Cole Spring. Florian Barnes back into the contest alongside Jaden Kelly. Corian Jackson will head back over to the bench, joined by Brian Douglas. So one more free throw coming up on the left side for Thomas. Missed the first one, 71-35, Bulldogs trail, 4.23 to go here in the fourth. That free throw's not there. Forrester finds separation, puts up the shot. Good for Houston Forrester. Way to stay after it. Look at that score. Forrester has been a force out here tonight for this Bulldog team. Here's Monroe splitting through defenders. Left corner three on the way. TJ is okay. Johnson. 74-37. That one will leave the net hanging off the rim. Back to the left side, Zane Sykes using his left hand to direct Dorian Tom. A crossover dribble action, right-handed pass to Dippery. Dippery on the right wing. He'll find Card. Card back up top over to Sykes, standing on the O of the Trojans logo. Over the head pass to Dippery on the left wing. Taking a few dribbles, staying with it here. He'll launch a three from the right hand. That shot almost there, but it popped out at the last moment. Rebound into the hands of Jaden Kelly. As he bounced it off or got it off the left side of the rim. 74 37, 324 to go. Here's a left corner three with Houston Forster's hand in the face. And somehow DeCorian Barnes was able to drop that one down. It's 77 to 37. We back the other way. Ball goes up top here to Jace Card. Card will find Forrester. Forrester over the right shoulder. The hands of Dippery, Sykes, and now a three by Dorian Thomas. And Thomas able to connect from another area code. It's 77 to 40. 2.45 to go here in the fourth. Back into the front court now from left to right. Trojans have it. Got to watch this young man. Hit a three earlier, left wing. That shot, or left corner rather, won't fall this time. For the Corian Barnes. Now New Waverly trying to feed it back down low. Shot is up and good by Dorian Thomas. And a nice assist by the freshman Dippery. It's 77 to 42, 2.19 to go. Here's a three on the way, Monroe. He's been quiet here in the second half. Rebound, Dippery, splitting through defenders. Turns on the Jets. Shot won't fall. Forster with the rebound. The putback is good off the left side. And it's 77-44 with 2.02 remaining here in the fourth. Monroe back with it on the right side. He'll find T.J. Johnson, who hit the three moments ago, and a save trying to go for it. DeCorey and Barnes credit the young man, was not able to save it. It goes right back to New Waverly. Here's Dippery on that right wing. Now on the right baseline, guarded by Brinsley. Puts up a shot here. Turn around, won't fall from about nine away. Bounce back over to Monroe in the backcourt. Right-handed dart of a pass. Launches it to Barnes for three. No. Rebound to Dippery. Here comes Dippery. On the near side from right to left with 128 to go, trailing 77 to 44. Sykes will take a three from the left corner. Good box out, shot won't fall, and the good box out by Monroe. Monroe into the front court. The Trojans will just eat away some time here. Tough one tonight for New Waverly as they will fall in two and one in this early district season. But a lot of effort here in the second half by this New Waverly Bulldog team as they really found some rhythm going late into the second. Here's a three on the corner, won't fall. Shot was missed by T.J. Johnson. Dippery will bring it into the front court from right to left. He'll find Sykes on the right wing. Monroe on him. Pass over to Forrester on the right baseline. Won't fall. Gets his own rebound. Turn around jumper not there. Third try won't fall. Boy, Forrester's battling here tonight. Will go out of bounds off of the hands of Kelly. And it will stay with New Waverly. It's 39 seconds to go. New Waverly trailing 77 to 44. We'll be back at it. I believe on Tuesday, so make sure to join us right back here on the SHN Network. We're also going to try to cover some of the girls' games this season as they play right before the boys, so you'll want to stay tuned in for that action as well. Zane Sykes on the left wing. He'll launch a three from the right hand. Good for Sykes. It's 77-47. to 47.
Trojans in the backcourt. They may just run this thing out. Brimsey will bring it into the front court. This Trojan team will get back above 500. They were resting at one and one. They'll go two and one on this early season. New Waverly will fall to two and one. Uh, but we've still got a lot of games remaining here in 23-3A. Uh, typically on nights, we won't do it tonight because of the data, but uh, typically we would have interviews with uh, players and coaches. Uh, but we'll wrap this one up for you when we come back. That's your final, 77 to 47 tonight here for New Waverly. They lose a tough one against a very tough, we knew coming in this is a very tough Trojans team, this New Waverly team. Uh, looking to find some rhythm and we'll be back at it. We'll step aside, take a break though. Stay with us, more to come here post game coming up on the SHN Sports Network. Welcome back at it here on the SHM Broadcast Network. Tough one tonight for uh, New Waverly as they will go 2-1 and one in this early season, but more action continues. We'll have more coverage coming up for you next Tuesday. Uh, again, like I said, typically we would have interviews, but just with the uh, Internet tonight and the way everything's going, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up and get out of here. So, uh, again, thanks for being with us. We'll have coverage again all season long, so make sure to keep it right here on SHN. You can subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's our joy and privilege to be able to bring you Bulldog basketball throughout the season. For Nathan Hyde, I'm Rob Pipp. That'll wrap it up tonight. Your final 77-47 to as New Waverly will fall to 2-1 in District.